got your Danny O'Day doll. You added it into your um, your magic. And well, tell me a little bit about uh, what kind of magic you were doing. What kind of shows were you doing when you started out? Uh, your basic, you know, kid in junior high and high school parlor magic. Uh, the hippity hop rabbits, the linking rings, uh, some silk magic. Your basics. Everything out of the catalog. So you you weren't thinking about being David Cronerfield? <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, I had several people trying to give me stage names. But no, I was never wanted to be that. <laughs> <laughs> because I know when I was uh, back in uh, high school, my big dream was to be the next big illusionist. Oh, yeah. That was never your that was never your fascination with it or oh, I love doing illusions and mm. I actually did a few of them. I did this sub trunk and uh uh, had the big, uh, what was that big, it was a two-volume set of illusions. One was the description and one was the plans. You probably have that somewhere. It's back on the bookshelf there somewhere. Yeah, you know, exactly. Um, that was put and out by, to... uh, uh, wasn't that, there's a lot of Abbott's plans, if I remember correctly, in there. Yeah, it was either Abbott's or Tannen's, I don't remember which. I think you're, I think you're right, it was Abbott's. I think, uh, but... I think it was, I think Tannen's, I bought it through Tannen's, but I, I believe it was put out, it had, like, the plans were extremely difficult to understand you yeah could, yes. you could you couldn't you couldn't build anything <laughs> out of it they were and i used to sit there and pour over those plans thinking oh this is a really cool one okay how could i do this all right well if, if i'm down at the fire hall and it's the you know or the grange those are the kind of places i used to perform how can i actually get away with this and it wasn't until i got a few opportunities very rare to be up on a big stage with curtains and lighting that actually i could actually pull some of them off my favorite one is the the doorway it just looks like a little porch entryway and there's the puff of smoke and you appear magically in the flash uh and i did that and it was just so cool i did it once <laughs> i love that <laughs> i can relate yeah so you uh, added the ventriloquism into your show. Did it take over, or did it uh, just kind of remain a part of it through your, you know, through your early career? I guess. You know, I have video of a performance I gave at a library in nineteen eighty four or something like that, eighty five, somewhere in that time frame, and it, it is my before reel. <laughs> Someday when I'm really brave, giving a lecture somewhere, uh, I will pull that footage out and show it as that, yeah, this is what it looked like way back in the day. It was pretty bad. Oh, come on. This, <laughs> there's only going to be three people who watch this. Don't you want to, like, share it with us? No. 